In robotics and automation engineering department, we have research facilities in our lab for our PhD students as well as our project scholars. We have research graded instruments like real-time operating system development board from TIL with LPC 1760, with STM32, with JLink debugger. We also have ARM Cortex uh, NXP development board. We have ArcGlider and other development boards. We also have 3D printer at our lab for R&D work. We have also developed a humanoid robot. We have named it Maria. It is a multi-purpose robot with features as a, it can work as a receptionist. It can also be work as security person. We also developed an advanced drone to be used for intruder detection as well as security purpose. Department the Navy University. I welcome you all in the Material Science Research Lab. Please come here. This is a state of the art synthesis lab where we synthesize uh, different nanomaterials and study their transport and magnetic properties mostly. This is a SERB funded project lab. So let me show you uh, some of the instruments we have here. Uh, this is a very uh, good quality of the Metal Toledo weighing machine uh, we have here. Thank uh, you. We have the means to store uh, samples in vacuum, uh, hydraulic press, vacuum pump, and uh, this is basically where we uh, do some analysis uh, work. And uh, this is the weight part of the synthesis lab. Okay. Uh, another instrument uh, is basically it's known as view wood, uh, which we use as a clean roof to synthesize nanomaterials. There is already a synthesis going on where we are trying to make a cobalt nanoparticle here. We also uh, have the uh, different tools uh, by which we can uh, synthesize 2D nanomaterials, basically graphene oxide, reduced graphene oxide, nanocomposites which are highly in uh, research, which is a very hot topic of research nowadays. And uh, we also have high temperature furnaces. These two are high temperature furnaces and vacuum mover. We also have a gas flow system uh, using which we can synthesize any nanomaterial in a uh, different atmosphere like argon hydrogen atmosphere or nitrogen atmosphere. So uh, I welcome you all to visit our lab anytime and uh, join us in collaboration of research and for the students it is if you want to study if you want to learn about uh, uh, 
a little bit about research then it is possible we are happy to uh, help you guide you and uh, it will be very helpful beneficial for you uh, for your future thank you so much hello everyone this is our microbiology research lab so let's go inside and look out what is there so as you can see this is our lab here we do our research mainly on biofilm inhibition disintegration as well as plastic degradation so here are several instruments let's look into that this is the centrifugation machine this is the trans illuminator here we have the gel system the ph meter here we have the laminar air flow this is our incubator shaper organisms are growing inside we have refrigerator there is one of the chemical racks this is our autoclave machine media has been prepared and it is being autoclaved right now this is our main balance and here we have the pit pipes several other things uh, and other lab essentials this is our vertex machine the colorimeter and the magnetic stirrer and apart from all the uh, instruments that we have seen we also have the spectro photo and lastly these are all the publications from our lab thank you yeah, today we are going to do the demonstration of colony count colony count colony means when there is a microbia or the micro growth on a tree okay we cannot see this in the naked eye it is not possible so there one two three four microbial colony or microbial spore will be present we can count the number you can know but you cannot find it in the naked eye so from there colony for the new read or the colony number we used to find to this message clear we will put that petri dish contain that microorganism already budding microorganism young microorganism not the old one and we will put inside we will put inside there what square boxes are there square boxes are there to count it and this is the digital pen this is the digital pen is there okay just like you do the digital sign automatically they used to take the sign there we will put this pen whenever we will put the any colony like that we will put the pen on that microbial colony and we will just point out and whenever we will point out the number of colony that will be displayed on the particular area here you can see and ultimately by this way we will find out nothing is there there only the zooming power is there zoom there we will see the individual microorganism okay and we will just point out we will point out on that microorganism okay and automatically this counter so uh, means uh, automatically this will get count clear this is the and once again you want to do the new you will get the reset button and you will get the zero Clear? By this way, we will do the colony counting of the microorganism. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Students, today we are going to pass on or demonstrate about the uh, this machine. This is known as as actophotometer or acetophotometer, whatever you call. Actually, actually, actophotometer is used to measure the locomotor activity of the rodents or some uh, animals. You can or mammals you can uh, tell. 
here what's happened actually uh, here is some uh, switch you uh, saw here actually here is a circuit occur when you place some rodents here and from the uh, circuits there there are some electrical impulses impulses will be passed okay that means you can you provide a shock on the uh, rodents and they uh, give some in reply they give some impulses with this uh, with this shock okay then we can measure the how much actually they give impulses this uh, that way we can measure the activity of the locomotor activity drag we are going to demonstrate the rotor how it will work to show you. Uh, so let me start. Okay. Uh, first of all, it is rotor rod apparatus, which is used uh, to perform the motor coordination of the rotor. Okay. Uh, that means here is the rod you see. Uh, when uh, rotate, that means there or mice that are to be placed. And here you can uh, start the uh, start button and you can rotate it to the Burning solution it will be there, and from here the, the, when the solution passes through this uh, pipe and just uh, just pour from the uh, or flow from the uh, fire, you get got a water various light or various reflection as uh, as per the uh, electrolyte. Okay, and here is the, you saw here a data screen. From where you can detect the, what, what actually happens or what actually the uh, electrolyte present in your solution. Actually, you have to do it. It is a digital test.